Greetings everybody, Maximus here with a short follow-up to a video I put out a few weeks ago regarding the NTSB's demand that Boeing upgrade the CFM-56 engine to cells on their 737s to prevent engine parts from piercing the fuselage in the event of a catastrophic engine out incident. According to John Hemmerdinger at Flight Global, Boeing has revealed details about structural enhancements they've come up with for repair of the CFM-56 engine nacelles. The repairs were ordered by the FAA in the wake of the 2016 and 2018 Southwest in-flight CFM engine explosions that resulted in fan blade pieces escaping the severely damaged nacelles, resulting in one fatality. Some of Boeing's solutions include adding reinforcements, redesigning exhaust nozzles, and equipping the cell components with stronger bolts and fasteners. Boeing said they will be notifying customers of the fixes in a series of five service bulletins, which according to Flight Global, they hope to release between the second quarter of 2022 and before the end of that year. However, Boeing will also be asking the U.S. Department of Transportation to allow them to make the changes over time, rather than all at once. The nacelle repairs will be mandated for the 737-600s, 700s, 800s, 900s, and the 900 ERs. So what exactly are the proposed fixes? Boeing will equip nacelle inlets with larger, more capable fasteners and redesigning crushable spacers to reduce the amount of fan blade impact energy that will be transmitted into the inlet structure. Boeing also said they redesigned the radial restraint fitting which connects the bottom of the fan cowl to the engines. That change will prevent fan blade impact energy from being introduced into the fan cowl structure during a blade out event. Also, Boeing said it will recommend more capable bolts for securing a fan cowl hinge. It has also redesigned the engine primary exhaust nozzle to address potential nozzle departure. But as Flight Global points out, the NTSB regulations require Boeing to approve its redesign changes before they are implemented, and they would also require Boeing to make all necessary changes all at once. But as Boeing already requested, they want to implement the repairs over time. Well, something that immediately jumps out at me is, if this is such a life and death situation, which it is because someone has died as a result of nacelle failures on the 737, why has it taken the NTSB five years to require a fix? And why is Boeing not going to start the repairs until after 2022? Seems kind of odd to me. Well, what do you think? That's all I have for now. Just a quick update. But if you have comments, let me know down below. And on your way out, please don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and ring the bell. And as always, remember, leave the rubber on the runway and your troubles on the ground. And I will see you next time. In the air. Yeah. This is Maximus. <laughs>